to my channel. I really appreciate that you're here. I'm gonna talk about my 10 things that I do in my life that make me happier and just overall makes me love myself more. And I believe that everyone deserves to be happy no matter what. These are 10 little things that I do that are really simple but really, really beneficial. Let's just get into it. My first thing I'm going to talk about is being active, exercising, basically movement. I find when I am working out or just getting outside, being in nature and moving, my body is so, so, so important for you. It boosts my mood definitely 100%. If I'm feeling down, I honestly don't even want to go work out, but I will force myself to. My favorite workout, well, okay, before I kind of stopped doing like YouTube video workouts and I would do my own thing, but I would get in a habit of doing the same things. It would be kind of boring for me. So I recently switched it up. I started doing mad fit workouts again. She kicks my butt, um, first of all. I did a work 10 minute workout and it literally left me sore for like three days but I felt great after I felt so happy after any workout you want to do it doesn't have to be a workout it could just be going for a walk it could be something like a sport you do like surfing or something that's something I like to do as well like on my off days from working out so I can get a recovery day I feel pumped after I feel stronger and I feel more grounded which is really nice being grounded just gets rid of it just goes but <laughs> this is number two and it's being in the sunshine just like this little fella. I have always said and believed that the sun literally heals anything and I mean that. Literally just sitting in the sun makes me feel so much better. Boosts your vitamin E levels which is so good for you. It just heals you internally, spiritually, and physically. I'm a full, full, full believer in the healing powers of nature and what nature can do for you. So much good. So, so good. And it's literally right outside, right outside my house. So go outside and have some fun in the sun. <laughs> Being in nature makes me feel at peace, so happy, and honestly so grateful. It just makes me look at the little things in life. It makes me feel so much great gratefulness. It makes me feel so grateful for them. When you're grateful, you just spread so much love into the air and it comes right back to you. So keep, keep spreading love. <laughs> Number three is journaling, meditation, morning readings. I am personally not a big meditator, like sitting down for 10 minutes and breathing. It's not super meditative for me. Definitely sitting in the sun is my meditation. But also, I have a journal and a morning reading, morning like quote thing I have. Hold on, let me show you. I remember at the beginning of uh, 2022, I made a book video and I said I wanted to do this and I have been doing it. Very proud of myself. A little daily journal that I write in. It's May 4th currently. And it's like the simplest things. Like this one's like my favorite thing to cook. And it just like gives you something to write down. And then you can think back to like what you like to cook or something about yourself. And it just empowers you. I also read a little daily thing called Opening Doors Within by Aline Caddy. And I'm also caught up. Very proud of myself because years ago I would not do this. And it's just short little passages that you can read and they're super inspirational. Like after I read it, I like to kind of soak it in and bring it throughout my day. Right after I eat, it's like the perfect time because you're still like digesting. You don't really want to do anything. Oh, after I eat breakfast. That's what I meant to say. After I eat, I don't want to do a workout right after. I don't want to do homework right after. I just want to sit and chill. But instead of being on your phone, you're journaling and doing your spiritual stuff and reading um, your daily things. So super beneficial and it makes me really, really happy. <laughs> the fourth one is super easy. Smile more. If you smile more and just make yourself feel happy, you will be happy. Also, just enjoying enjoying life. Enjoy the good, enjoy the bad. Just enjoy it all because it's all meant to happen. It's all meant for you and your journey. So just literally enjoy it all. My fifth one is practicing mindfulness and just slowing down because like I said in the beginning, my head can feel very, very racy and it just makes me overthink, which this is why I bought this book to read next <laughs> after I finish my other one I'm going to talk about, but this is another one that sounded really good. Everything this talks about, I struggle with, so <laughs> honestly, when I have those moments where I'm just like spinning in a circle, I kind of just stop and stare at something like, oh, there's a leaf just chilling. I should be doing that too. <laughs> just being mindful. Just stop. Practice your breathing. Just focus on your breath. Just look at the trees. I don't know. Look at anything. Make you feel much, much better about yourself. Make you really, really happy. 
and it'll slow your heart rate and it'll just slow yourself down just enjoy life the next one is number six and it kind of goes hand in hand with that um, eat mindfully and drink more water I have a problem with eating really fast and being on my phone while I eat and just scrolling and I'm like oh where'd the food go it's all in my stomach like what the heck I don't even remember eating at all um when you eat fast it's not good for your digestive system first of all and second of all when you eat slower you're gonna be more full you're gonna pay more attention to what's actually going in your body bring you back to being mindful also drinking more water I just feel like anything when you drink more water you just feel so much better physically and you feel much better physically you just feel much better in general and it makes you really happy less stressful, you're not aching, your headache's gone, you know, all the fun stuff. The seventh tip I have is having those daily habits that you do that just make your life easier. First and foremost, making your bed every morning. It's done right when you wake up and then you come back upstairs to go change to get ready for work and your bed's all made, your room's spotless. I'm just like, okay, my bed's done, I made it, good to go go to work. I don't have to worry about coming home to a messy room. That's the same thing for taking your vitamins, just take it right when, have those like, have those times of days when you're like, this is dedicated to taking my vitamins or making my bed. When it's the end of the day and say I just got off work or something like that, having that time of day where I just decompress, I don't go on my phone, being with my family, I'm just cooking dinner with them, that's the perfect time to decompress. When I decompress, it makes me enjoy the little things and therefore makes me really happy. Every moment is super precious and you want to take care of every moment that you have, so. Next. Topic. Lowering, lowering your screen time because these things cause a lot of anxiety and we don't really know it. If I'm just scrolling on Instagram, I'm judging myself based on everyone's life and I'm like, wow, this I'm not doing this in my life, I'm not doing this in my life. Stop it. <laughs> Find something that you enjoy rather than being on your phone. My family and I just started a garden in our backyard, so for me that's been like gardening. I've also been reading a lot, trying to get because I just bought a lot of books, so I'm like, I gotta read these. I just started a book before all my books came, and now I want to get to the other books, so I'm trying to finish this book. I just like being with my family, just like little things like that, just being in the sun, like I said, going surfing. Those apps are designed to make you feel bad <laughs> about yourself, honestly. Like, that's, I truly believe that. It'll just make you into this down, downward spiral. It's not good for you. Like, those apps want you to feel like that. That's just my beliefs. I know that's super hard, but trust me, you're gonna feel so much better, you're gonna feel so much like the day is so much longer like what the heck like I just gained four hours like you're not being on your phone for four hours makes a huge difference the ninth tip is reading a good book so this is the book I'm re reading right now this is the book I'm reading currently called homesick and it's about this girl who lives in a shed she doesn't like to work like have a job because why have a house if you can't enjoy it if you're working all day that kind of thing so really really good book my last tip it's really simple but go for a walk around your neighborhood just going on a walk makes you just notice again the little things the little things around your neighborhood I like to look at the houses <laughs> that are in my neighborhood just like oh that's cute I like that fence oh I like looking at the flowers little things like that it makes you really really happy really grounded it takes the stress away from your life and if you go with someone I go with my mom and my and my dad he started going with us you can just go by yourself take your dog take your sister your brother your cousin literally your grandma anybody and go for a walk so much fun those are my 10 little things that i do in my life that have made me so much more happier and i just wanted to end with this you know life's not perfect we're all not going to be happy 24 7 but when things go downhill just know that you have yourself and that's the most important thing that you can have is yourself and you know that it's there for you but just know that you are blessed and you are so 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 beautiful just the way you are do not doubt yourself go do something with your friend go grab a coffee go for a walk go in the sunshine do something that will benefit you today and I promise you it will be worth it <laughs> that is it for my video thank you so much for watching I hope you guys have a great rest of your day if you liked my video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel that would mean the world to me go do something for yourself today because you deserve it all right bye <laughs> can we stay here for a week or so just watch the corn grow in the fields i don't know what's on your mind but i know that it's something about you and me